rotation to high bridge. There are a few different ways to perform this movement and to get into it. And one of the common mistakes that people tend to do is that they don't bend the base arm on the entry. You must pivot into your bridge, bend that base arm and lift the fingers off the floor to shift the weight onto the blade or the palm of the hand. This isn't necessarily a definite requirement, however, this particular skill will strengthen your shoulder through all of its ranges and will provide you with different movement options later. So I quite like it. This stops your shoulder being locked into place as you rotate into your bridge because the hand isn't glued to the floor essentially. It's pivoting dynamically along with the rest of your arm all the way up the chain to your shoulder. This is useful for different transitions and also for strengthening your shoulder throughout its whole range of motion. There's no right and wrong per se, however there are different ways of doing things and certain ways have different attributes and different qualities that we might not be getting from others. This of course means that some ways of performing movements will allow us to link other movements together after or not 